It's the story of a family on a ski trip in the Austrian Alps who are, uh, you know, trying to uh, kind of reconnect with each other as a family and uh, only to have it kind of completely upended by this avalanche, uh, which is not a real avalanche. Uh, it was just a test one. Uh, however, the the wife and the husband react to it in very different ways. She, uh, Billy, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus, goes to protect our two kids, and the father, Pete, played by myself, I grab my cell phone and leave. <laughs> and that kind of taints the rest of their trip. Uh, and it's really, uh, it's it's a it's a drama. I mean, I, I really think of it as a as a drama with with you know a lot of laughs throughout. But it's really just this compelling story of you know how how would you react in the face of a circumstance uh, like that? None of us really know. And um, how well do you know your partner? Uh, how uh, how much are you know? It, it, it kind of, I think, also talks about how truthful we are with each other and, and in society. And, and so it touches on a lot of themes. It was incredible. She was, uh, she's just as funny as I thought she was from watching her. She is 10 times funnier in person and just so sharp, so smart. And an incredible actor as well. We, we were doing, uh, you know, this movie goes from being a com comedy to Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf on a dime. And we are intensely yelling at each other. And uh, it, was, it was as real a, a film as I've ever worked on in terms of the drama. And she, uh, she was right there leading the way. I can. Uh, Downhill is about an American family on vacation in the Austrian Alps, and uh, everything is seemingly fine until their uh, second day on the mountain when uh, there is a loud boom and an avalanche goes off. They're sitting in a restaurant and they see an avalanche and it's very far away and everyone's intrigued and taking pictures and so on. And then what happens is it gets closer and closer and closer and people start to get worried and then it gets super close and people start running and screaming and the mother in this piece, played by myself, grabs her two children and her husband grabs his cell phone and runs in the other direction. And that is the beginning of the story, in fact, even though it sounds like, but it is this massive crisis and the rest of the movie is the unraveling of the dynamic within their family and how do they uh, 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 digest what happens. Oh, it's divine. I love Will. We're really good friends now. Um, we're, we, we, I feel like we sort of have the same brain uh, when it comes to work. And um, uh, I consider myself very lucky to have had this experience with him. Well, I'm hoping that the audience uh, is thoroughly entertained. And I'm hoping that they walk, walk out of here uh, having a conversation with the people that they came with to discuss what their take was on who did the right thing, is this couple going to make it, are things black and white, are things gray. It, I think it, it will promote a lot of conversation about relationships. Sure. Uh, Downhill is about a family on vacation, a ski vacation, and they're eating together and they're uh, is what appears to be an avalanche that approaches the family and at the last minute the father stands up grabs his cell phone and runs away and it turns out that it was actually a controlled avalanche and that no one's life was in danger but the rest of the film is the family dealing with the fallout of this one horrifying critical moment in their lives 
I play a character who's named Zach, so it's a real stretch. And uh, I'm playing uh, a guy who's in a new relationship. Uh, and in that sort of phase where your brain is so soaked in serotonin and, and your, your heart's pitter-patter all the time and you don't sort of notice whatever fissures might exist between you and the person you're falling in love with. So we're in this sort of bloom of new love and we encounter this couple who's really, you know, uh, hitting, the, hitting the skids. And so we're sort of a, a, a counterpoint to them. It's really good. Yeah, kind of low key in a way. It was like everyone was so sweet and, and it's, uh, uh, I mean, I, I came up watching Julia and Will and those guys are heroes of mine. And so to be able to be in this weird little snow globe in the middle of Austria with them, um, doing a movie that's uh, really funny, I think, but also kind of has some depth. And, and to get to see them play these more dramatic parts was like one of the great privileges of my career. I think ideally movies make us feel less alone, you know? And what happens on screen, even though the characters themselves are feeling a bit lonely and a bit isolated, I think seeing other couples struggle in the way that so many people have struggled in romantic relationships will be um, both excruciating and comforting all at the same time. Sure. Um, Downhill is about this American family of four who go on what's supposed to be this idyllic family ski trip um, and they encounter an avalanche and the husband and father, Pete, played by Will Ferrell, flees, ditches his family to save himself and while everyone comes out of the experience physically unharmed, there's a lot of emotional damage that they have to navigate. I do. Rosie um, and her newish boyfriend Jack are uh, having an adventurous trip in um, Europe and they overlap with Pete and Billy and sort of get sucked into their family drama and have very different reactions to the situation. Rosie has a lot of opinions. It's just riotously funny from the beginning to the end. Um, yeah, and also everyone on this set, like, they are so good at what they do, but they're also really good, kind, smart human beings, and it was really an idyllic two months. I mean, I think they're going to have to reckon with the same questions the protagonists have to face, you know? Like, what would you do in this circumstance, and do you even know? It's a terrifying question. Yes, it is a remake of a Swedish film uh, that was entitled Force Majeure, which was a fantastic, wonderful film that came out probably about six or seven years ago. Um, it is, the premise is essentially an American family goes on a ski vacation, and about early on in the vacation, everything is going well, and they're having a meal at a mid-mountain you know, lodge, and they hear a boom, and this avalanche starts coming towards them, and at first everybody thinks it's uh, controlled and safe, and you know they pull out their phones, and and then it starts turning to, is this okay? And then eventually it becomes pandemonium, panic, everybody fearing for their lives. The mother of our two boys grabs her children and protects them and looks out of the corner of her eye and see her husband grab his phone on the table and run as fast as he can away, uh, sort of trying to save himself. The, the snow clears, there was no injuries, nothing really happened. It was terrifying, but no casualties or injuries. The man returns to the table uh, to find his wife looking at him. And it's basically about taking that moment and, and finding about a couple that whether do you really know who you've been married to, who is this person sitting opposite that you thought you know, and then the questions of whether they can go forward from here. I'm playing Charlotte in the film, who's a German woman who seems to work at the ski resort that they're staying at. Does she work there, or is she just a visitor? They're not really sure. Um, and I kind of insinuate myself a little into their life for a moment, particularly um, Julia's character, Billy. Um, quite a like sexually forward kind of character.
yeah, a lot of fun to play, a lot of fun. Really fun. I mean, it was actually a kind of movie where, because the weather was so changeable and we needed so many different weathers to make the movie because there's so many different things that happen in the film, um, we had to be quite, um, we had to sort of really be there the whole time, even if you only had a few bits to do because they didn't know when they were going to schedule. They were constantly changing things. Um, so we got to hang out a lot. I mean, it's always a great experience when you get to go away and be with people. And yeah, so, and Anthony Bregman, who's one of the producers I've worked with um, a couple of times over the years, and he He's, he's so much fun as a producer, just lovely, lovely person. I don't know because I haven't seen it. It's so funny, the first time I read the script, I just thought it was hysterically funny. And the next time I read the script, I thought it was devastating. So I think it's somewhere in between the two. Like there's there's a, a lot of comedy in there, but it, 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 you know, in the end, it is about a relationship and a marriage and what, uh, you know, who are you within that marriage? And you, you go along a certain way and then something like challenges it and that's sort of what happens in the film.